guys good morning good afternoon doing where you are and when watching this welcome to new vlog if you're wondering where we are thanks to manav ma'am who is treating me for a nice lunch at taj falaknama you see that's the entrance now we have to wait for the golf cart so that we can go to the main place have lunch this place is in the middle of a basti like literally basti This is the most high-end experience one can get, closest to having the Nizam lifestyle or something. Let's see how it is. If you're looking for something more premium than a golf cart, you can try their carriageways, which go through some of the really well-maintained lawns. And after a short ride, you reach the entrance of the palace, which had some nice architecture. Once you cross the main gate, you reach the main palace, and the view from this palace, especially the view of the city, is lovely. I can't imagine how this would look in the right way. Thoroughly enjoyed this part of the view, and soon we entered the main palace. Unfortunately, video recording is prohibited, so couldn't show you the best part of the palace. But we crossed the hallway and entered the courtyard, which houses some of the rooms. Once you cross the courtyard, you get to two restaurants: Celest, the Italian, and Ada, the Indian restaurant. Everything that you touch, feel here, felt premium. It was a nice experience, but in terms of the overall ambience. Somehow something felt missing. It felt very dull, not as rich as I expected. It looked very simple, and it's kind of a small room. But the best view is by the window, and I'm sure it will look good in the night. So the way this place works is you get a fixed menu out of which you can try all the items. But when I looked at the drinks menu and the ala carte prices there, I was shocked to see the lemonade price at 450. At which point I was just like, I'm happy with the ginger ale, which would cost me 250. Still high, but it's okay. How is your Non vegetarian food. I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. Veg tastes really good, but veg biryani you can't complain or go wrong as such. Rest of the items, I mean, in terms of quality, taste, 10 out of 10. Kubani ka mita, anjir ka halwa, pan flavored ice cream, and last is any double ka mita. Your uh, gajar ka halwa ita level. I think these are some of the rooms to stay if you like to spend up to fifty thousand at least. Looks small, but well maintained. If you wanted like a palace experience in Hyderabad, there's only one. Hope you had good time. Yeah, I love the food. The ambience is not as expected. Doesn't feel very rich, classy, like a big palace, like a royal palace. I mean, it feels. Like a old heritage property, but not something like you get in like Rajasthan or something. Is it worth fifteen thousand for two people? What fifteen thousand we spent? Eighteen thousand, yeah. No, I would. It's hard to recommend. Not to <laughs> so, <come. laughs> it's not like two street it is, but uh, it's not worth the experience. I'll show you another palace. You see, <laughs> that's a, literally a fake palace. Only one single sheet. You see that in the mirror. It's a fake palace. It's a single sheet. <laughs> I'm sure there are other elements in that palace, like the queen's bedroom, the library, uh, courtyard, and all. I'm sure they'll be good, and even the room stays might be fine. But for the lunch experience, somehow not satisfied. Will we come back again? Is the metric? No. no. So <laughs> she was the excited one. If she says no, then no. I am not coming here again. There was also a free. Palace, thirty-minute palace tour included. We skipped that. Uh, she wanted to go, but I was not keen about it. And also, we have a badminton game to go. So, time to head home, drop her, get ready, head for the badminton game. I just realized while eating that it's not the one of the most expensive lunches I had, but it is the most expensive. I've lived abroad, U.S., Canada, traveled in Europe, but I never spent this much for lunch. Some of you might think we are just. throwing money or crazy but i just want to let you know that we me my wife my family some of my friends we want to spend on experiences sure we do spend our share on materialistic things like motorcycles cars and all but i have always believed that paying for experiences is a better value than paying for materialistic things sometimes it's a matter of affordability so please don't judge that this is so high how can you go you could donate that money each have their own priorities we do our own share we just don't market i wanted to sh make this video and show it because it was something unique it is something different and i just want people who want to go there next time to see for themselves if it's worth it or not so if you are someone who wants to 
get the best food like Michelin star quality food. In fact, this place Taj Falaknama Palace had some of the best food awards uh, over the last 10 years if I remember. So in terms of food, I'm just but in terms of ambience experience, not so sure. So just wanted to convey that not about the price, not about making fun of the palace or the locality or anything. Currently on YouTube, people it's easy for people to judge comment. I just want you to take this objectively. And the reason I made this video is to just show for people who are interested in this experience. At the end of the day, uh, when I, I mean, this was a treat by Manogna. Uh, she just wanted to randomly treat me. But then seeing the bill we shared, like most couples should do. And I'm happy that the pain was shared. So are the good moments. That's it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section. I know this is a short video, but I'm as I said before, I'm only going to put videos that really appeal to my heart and that are interesting. I hope this is something that you liked. Write me in the comment section and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.